Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Some people say I don't like Christmas very much. That's not true at all. I just don't like people. I'm like the Grinch. And it's the Grinch we're going to work on today. We're going to go to open with and Photoshop. So get yourself a picture of the Grinch. Open it in Photoshop. Uh, it'll take a few moments while it initializes and gets everything in. And there he is. There's our Grinch. Now I'm going to put my face where the Grinch's face is. So what do I need to do? Well, the first thing I need to do is take a picture of me. Uh, in a similar position, so I can put that face where the Grinch's face is. So back to Photoshop. There it is. Let's get the picture of me. I'm going to go File and em Place Embedded. And let's look on my desktop. There's a photo of me and Place. Now I'm going to put my head in the right angle and the right size. To make that easier, I'm just going to drop my opacity of that layer down to around about 30%, so I can sort of see my outline, and I can see the Grinch's outline too. So let's sort of rotate that so it matches. Uh, stick it more or less there, it needs to be a bit bigger. So I'm gonna grab the corner, hold shift so I don't stretch it uh, incorrectly. I'm going to maintain the aspect ratio. And uh, let's plonk that over there as close as we can, I suppose. Wanna make sure we cover all of all the bits of the actual Grinch. That's more or less correct. So I'm going to press enter. And that should secure it. And then I'm going to return my opacity back to 100%. So it's completely opaque and we can't see what's behind. So now I need to cut my head out. Now I deliberately uh, had the picture taken against a white background. That just makes it easier to cut out. So let's get... Uh, Let's get the polygon tool, uh, the polygon lasso. Let's cut my head off. And I'm just going to click around it, leaving the white uh, left behind. Com sound, just like that. And then I'm going to deselect the white area. So I'm just left with the pixels with my head on it. So I'm going to switch to magic wand. I'm putting it on uh, remove uh, subtract from selection and I might just increase the tolerance to around about 40 because I think that white isn't actually white it's a whole set of different shades of, of gray so if I click in this area here it removes uh, that from the selection so I'm left with just a cutout of me except it's not done a particularly good job on my forehead so again let's just zoom in on the forehead Let's get the lasso tool. I might change that to um, maybe magnetic lasso. And I'm going to do add to selection. And I might just click around this bald head of mine. Like that. And follow the edge. Let's just go around those eyebrows. And in here I can be as rough as I like. And it's added it to the selection. So I've done a reasonable job there of cutting out my own face. So let's zoom back out. Around about 100% will do, I think. So I'm just typing in 100 into little zoom area. And I can see me. Now, to get rid of the background, I'm going to choose the mask tool. And boom, um, I've been removed. So what next? We need to blend me in so let's just zoom in again just so we're closer and i'm going to go to the paintbrush tool uh, that's the history brush i don't want that i want ah there we are the paintbrush tool i'm going to set my color to black which it already is and then i'm going to set my brush now the hardness is how hard the edge is and you can see the preview i want it quite soft and the size 66, I might just make that just a little bit bigger, 84, something like that. Yeah, maybe a bit more than that. Okay. And then, making sure I've selected the mask. So I'm not painting on the image, I'm painting on the mask. I'm just going to start brushing out the joint. So it blends the picture into the image behind. We're actually hiding bits of the pixels and the picture of me.
and putting that in as a nice sort of uh, blend there. Uh, just get some of those chili whiskers from, uh, from the Grinch. Leave my ear more or less there. And do you know what? I think that's not too bad. The only problem is I'm the wrong colour. So down here, making sure I've selected my layer, I'm going to click uh, this, what looks like a contrast symbol. It is actually an adjustment layer. So if I click on that layer, I can go to hue and saturation, and then I can change the colors. Now I need to click this button because otherwise if I make a change here, the whole of the image changes its coloring. And I don't want that to happen. I just want it to happen to the layer with the image of me. So this little button here does that. So now I can change the color of me and make myself look green like the Grinch, not too green. And if I want, I can change how much colouring there is in there, a bit more grey, a bit more green. I'm going to try and match it as closely as I can. And I think that's pretty reasonable. The only thing I don't like now is just the edging of this. Now, sometimes you can double click on your mask. And you can sort of feather the edge and that just sort of blends it. But you can see it's sort of spreading outwards and giving me a glow like I'm a ghost or something, which is not quite what I want. Um, so I think I'm going to refine my edge. So I'm going to go select the mask. And we can see the mask again. And I've got shift edge here. So I'm going to shift the edge inwards. And just add back a little bit of that feathering. Not too much because I don't want the glow. Maybe shift it a bit more inwards. And let's have a quick look. Okay. Maybe I did it just a little bit too much because my ear is gone. But that's okay. Back on there. I can just switch to white. Let's just reduce the size of that brush. And let's just put that ear uh, back in I'm bring myself back into that a little bit more and I'm just going to bring that top of that head in like that and I think I'm just going to take out some of the white I think I'm now happy that I look like the Grinch that stole Christmas <laughs>